Hello! In this video, you will learn how to set up your Broncolor Scope D50. To get started, take out the scope by using the handles. Make sure not to grab it from the opening, you might damage the LEDs. Position the scope on a dark, non-reflective surface for optimal results. Screw in the supporting legs and add the adjustable feet. Stabilize your scope by adjusting the height of the feet. Position the object close to the lower edge of the scope. The highest point of your object should not be higher than this edge. Fix the camera mount to the scope top by means of the two integrated screws. The scope works with any camera. Make sure the camera you are using has a sink socket. Mount the camera using this screw. Position it in the center of the opening. Watch out for three things. First, the opening should not be vignetting your photographs. Second, the LED inside scope should not provoke any flare. Finally, the lens should not block any LED's light. Connect the camera to the scope using the spiral sync cable. On your camera, Set the white balance to 5000 Kelvin or adjust it manually. Take an sRGB color space and select TIFF as file format. Connect the scope with the mains power supply using the main adapter and cable. Plug the first cable on the scope panel, then on the main power supply. The power plug serves to disconnect scope D50 from the mains and should, therefore, be easily accessible at all times. If there is ambient light influencing your photographs, use the light protection elements. To position your object and focus properly, turn on all LEDs. Light a single LED and adapt its brightness to define the correct exposure. Press Sequence and then Start. On your camera, set up a pre-programmed sequence of 48 images. To avoid camera movements, do not release manually. If your camera has a mirror, lock it. You can now capture the 48 images. If you cannot position the object under the scope, Use the stand adapter and a strong stand to place the scope vertically. You have managed to get your first set of 48 images illuminated with the Scope D50. The images are now ready to be imported into the software. In the next video, you will learn how to process the images and get your first surface model. Thanks for watching.